dear learner after our previous lecture we will create now grid as per our floor plan or um, as per our column layout but before that you can see we have total six level okay level five level one okay we'll give it level minus one so we have total six level but we are seeing only on to four level here so why the rest level are not showing here because we have created that level by using that level option but other for level five and level minus one we have used copy option okay so to uh, make it visible in our structural plan i'll go here view from view we'll go plan view from plan view we'll go st structural plan and you can see the two plan are not uh, are uh, here so i'll click here and we'll select a structural plan from here and click okay now see here one two three four five and minus one showing perfectly okay it's minus one i'll close it done so now we are completely ready to create our grid so now we're going to create grid now to create grid i'll go to let's say level one here and we can delete that on level one here if your windows are a small then uh, you can see here the switch windows option so uh, you have one two three four windows opened here you can see it okay. also they have another option close inactive views suppose let's say uh, we have level one and two are open now so if i click here close inactive windows or the windows we are not seeing that will be lost done now to create grid i'll go here a structure from here we'll go to grid okay so from grid when everything is okay simply click from the starting point from where you want to start from here to let's say here okay and must remember your grid should be between that four line okay for that and uh, between that line that line that line okay so I'll click here this is our grid one hmm. this is our grid one then again just come in the same level here in here and start creating so from our plan we need one two three four four grid here and also we need one two three four four grid in x direction four grid in y direction so simply i'll take four grid just come here and go a little bit down and click here same create for grid and then we'll modify it no problem okay again let's say here that will be our this is the first grid and uh, here you can see from the, that point to that point one two three four 
here we want to use let's say a okay a mm. a again go here and greet in same way just get v come here create c come here get d so we have created four grid as per our requirement now we'll go as per our calculation or as per our value here so now we can see now i'll go with linear to draw okay so let's say uh, we'll go for x direction first here our first grid distance is seven feet so what is the meaning of seven feet seven feet here in feet but we are using the distance as a millimeter okay in our previous lecture i have told you that now we'll click here modify and then our previous command will be removed and i have told you that which grid will moved it will be depend that which group uh, grid we are selecting so I, i'll select that grid and with respect to that grid i mean that grid i'll uh, move that grid as per our distance so our first distance is seven feet so as our first distance is seven feet now we'll convert that distance to millimeter so from uh, millimeter seven feet into if you want to convert from feet to millimeter you have to use 304.8 okay 304.8 one feet to one feet equal to millimeter is three on feet equal to 3048 millimeter i'll click ok so this is our total value 3133.6 I'll just click here that's it again I'll take sorry two one two one okay now I'll go for the this grid okay so again I'll click here and I'll check this distance go to AutoCAD plan three feet eight inch so uh eight inch means 8 divided by 12 plus 3 this is the total distance 3.6667 feet into 304.8 so what will be the distance 1 on 1 7.6 okay i'll go to autocad that's it now i'll go for the last one so what is the distance between the last 9.6 9 feet 6 in that pen 9.6 9.5 feet okay so we'll take 9.5 into 304.8 this is our distance 2000 and uh, 895.6 
so i'll just go here or i'll provide this value here 28956 uh sorry i'll press ctrl z i'll click this one not this one i'll click this one and i'll provide here the value Two eight nine five point six. Okay, that's it. So in X direction we are ready. Now we'll go for Y direction. Okay. So next here I will start from this side. Okay, I will start from this side. So this is ten feet five inch. 5 divided by 12 plus 10 into 304.8 30 on 75 so i'll select this one and change that value 30 on 75 30 on 75 the next distance next distance is 15 feet and 10 inch 10 divided by 12 48 26 now I'll select this one and change the value from here okay now the last one there is 16 feet and 2 inch 2 divided by 12 plus 16 into 304.8 4927 okay let's copy this value copy it Four nine twenty seven point six, and sorry i'll select this one and then provide this value here and enter now see this is your main grid so what we can do now uh you may check it here as our that grid is our building is in that form I'll go to here and uh, from here I'll take it here and from here sorry I'll take it here also on that side I'll move it here now you can see we are now uh, ready for our next step and see here we have overlaps what i can do here we can click here and by clicking here you are able to rotate in any direction so let's say in this way in this way we're able to uh, solve this issue so this is the way to create our uh, grid okay now we are completely ready for modeling and uh, if we go for um, different different level you will see for every level it's done and just okay for level three in this way uh, in this way you are able to change for okay done for level five or for level five for level minus one so uh we are ready for our next step now um, we'll um, start creating our column beam slab everything one by one